Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Hannah Dennis and we do have some showers and storms that are going to be moving in, but our temperatures this week will start to level off and we could see a nice weekend at the end of this week. Now the northern lights were um, able to be seen last night. This is actually a picture coming out of Madison County from one of the emergency managers out there, which is absolutely beautiful. But unfortunately, that is slowly not going to be seen in the sky. You can see that our uh, potential to see those northern lights is far north um, in the state and unfortunately we look like we're going to have some cloudy conditions and it's going to be rainy. In fact, this is what we're going to be looking at going on throughout the entire night. You can see that there's barely any um, yellow or green areas on this map, which means there's barely any areas that will be have that would have good viewing opportunities to see these northern lights one last time. So if you really want to see these northern lights, unfortunately, you're not going to be seeing them in the state tonight. However, we are going to be seeing some rain and as we go on throughout the evening and into the early morning hours, you can see that we do have some showers that are starting to come in the southern part of the state. This is at 2 a.m. on Monday and we'll see that rain start to move up uh, through the state, but you can see it's really not too widespread. For the most part, it favors the southern portion of the state and is going to just kind of be an off and on rain for here in the central part of the state. Now, as we go more into Tuesday, you can see that it really just stays off towards the east and then eventually it moves out by Tuesday afternoon. So as far as how much rain we're going to be seeing, we are going to be seeing too much as as you go further north. You can see from the central part of the state up towards the northern part of the state, you can see an inch to less than a quarter of an inch. However, down the southern part of the state, that's where those totals get a little bit higher. They could see uh, two inches or greater um, for rainfall down there. Now, tonight, that's when that rain's going to start to move in, but it's going to be warm. You can see that our, we're only going to get down to 60 degrees, so it'll be warm and rainy. There could be some thunder tucked in, uh, tucked away, but for the most part, it's going to just be rain. And then Monday, we are going to get up to only 67 degrees, which will be noticeably cooler compared to today. We'll have the chance to see some showers and storms off until in the evening hours, and then things start to really die down. But taking a look at our 10 day you can see that we get right back up into the 70s on Tuesday and we keep that going on throughout the week but unfortunately we also have on and off rain chances throughout the week as well however as we get back into the uh, this coming weekend we'll get those 80s once more it'll start feeling warm but then Sunday afternoon we have a chance to see those pop-up showers once again and then it looks like we could start off the following week with a lot of sun